Welcome everyone to another Foxtech video. This time as you can see we have the iPad in front of us and the topic for today is how do you actually go ahead and turn off vibration on the iPad and I've got some good news for you because there is actually no feature in terms of vibrations available on the iPad like the iPad physically does not vibrate it doesn't have the vibration motor inside so it technically lacks the hardware to make it vibrate there are some reasons for it of course the area of an iPad is too large for the motors to actually vibrate it properly so Apple just decided to skip this feature altogether and I don't actually think that it was a bad idea. However, if you want to turn the feature off, you have probably experienced some kind of vibrating pattern on your iPad. In that case, you, what could have happened to you is simply that you are consuming some kind of content, either you are playing some music or watching a YouTube video, whatever that may be. In case you are engaging the speakers of your iPad, in that case, your iPad may feel on the surface that it's vibrating, even though it's only just the speakers doing what they're supposed to do. So when the speakers do their job on an iPad, which is equipped with four speakers, and you feel in your hand that when you're holding the iPad that it's actually vibrating a bit, that's just because of the speakers, not because of the vibration motor. So there is technically no way to actually turn it off. By the way, guys, if you want to know everything about your iPhone apps, you have to click the link down below in the description. It's a 100% free education platform where I publish like video editing courses. There is going to be the all apps explained course, which is coming up. It's going to explain every single app on your iPhone. It's going to be really cool. So go ahead and check out that link. It's free to access. So yeah, go ahead and do that right now. However, I still understand why you may be confused because if you open it up and look up some things like haptic, you can see many different things which show up, but you can see when you click on that, nothing really to customize in here. Even though it shows up in the search within the settings, when you tap on it, there is nothing requiring or nothing regarding the haptic touch or when you just use the vibration so which is another term you can see if i look up vibration you have two places in the settings where you can customize it turn it off or on so you can see sounds and vibration patterns or vibration on the ipad so you have it in the settings but when you click on it nothing really shows up no vibration here you can see nothing so yeah even when i click on the first one again I can change the sound, the ringtone, whatever, but I don't have any vibration pattern. So, which only proves that the iOS and iPadOS are still connected because the iPadOS is showing the settings which are only part of the iPhone, but you can still search for it on the iPad. So, it's kind of not fixed properly. So, yeah, that's something to keep in mind. But at the end of the day, the conclusion is that iPads are not equipped with the vibration motor, so you cannot turn it off nor on. It doesn't work that way, but I explained to you what you may have felt in terms of vibration on your iPad and why you can still find it in the settings. So yeah, that's about it. I'm going to wrap up this video right now. Thank you very much for watching. If you found this video informative, make sure to leave a thumbs up, but definitely subscribe down below so you never miss future videos like this one. Thanks a lot for watching. See you guys later.